Hi, and Shabbat Shalom to you. Hope that you are beginning to wind your week down and looking forward to the sweetness that will be Shabbat in just a few hours for all of us. This week, we continue the conversation of the plagues that fell on to uh, Egypt. Uh, and last week, we did seven of those plagues. We talked about seven of those plagues of the of, of the ten. And the last three remain for us this week in the Torah portion called Bo. The last three, of course, the locusts, the darkness, and the death of the firstborn. And what I like for us to talk about uh, the, here in this moment is why these last three? Why have those seven uh, in one week and the last three, and why were these three, if there was an order made, why were these three sort of the most punishing and the most difficult? The last one, of course, um, is a, a conversation that's uh, probably most complicated slash most easily figured out that the, the death of the firstborn was the most challenging, which was left for the, and most difficult, which was last, what was left for the last plague. But why the locusts and then darkness? So the the locusts were uh, thought to have been almost a final blow for the, for the crops and for what was taking place on a day-to-day -day life for the Egyptians because of the, of the, of the uh, blood and the frogs and the boils and the, and the, the insects and all, all the, all, all of those things uh, were really slowly dismantling uh, e Egypt and then whatever was left over, if you've ever been uh, uh, amongst or know of locusts, they really eat whatever is left. And so whatever was left for them was just devoured and was really uh, pushed them to, to the brink. And then while they were on that brink, this next plague of the darkness, the darkness was so dark that it's believed that you could feel it, that there was a thickness to the darkness. It was almost like a dark mist and that it could be felt by the Egyptians. By the way, the Israelites did not uh, feel any of the darkness. The Israelites were living in, 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 in the light, but the Egyptians were in utter darkness so much so they could say that the, they couldn't even see their own, their own hands in front of their faces. They could not see each other. They could not communicate. The darkness was so overwhelming that their that their uh, actions and their speech and everything was so engulfed by this uh, horrible darkness that um, they really just could not function. Which, which is why it's thought to be the essentially the the the, the second to last plague. Uh, we'll talk more about this uh, in when, when when we study it. But but this darkness was like I said, so thick and so challenging and so difficult that it even messed with their heads. It messed with, what, with was, what was going on. And I invite us to think about um, the complexity of darkness, the, the complexity of what that feels like for us. Thank God we're not in plagues, but in terms of just simple darkness, the darkness that's outside our, 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 our homes at night and how we light our way, um, whatever darkness we're maybe carrying with us, that that we need uh, light shed on that on that uh, on that on that on that darkness. So I'd love for us to to think about just the concept. Let's just not check it off the list of the plagues. Da, 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 da. But what does darkness really mean? Like what what did that mean for the Egyptians? Obviously, what what were the Israelites celebrating because they were in light? And also for us to think about this. A, where are some of the darkness coming for us? And B, most importantly, how can we shed light on that darkness? How can we come out of uh, out of out of that darkness that maybe we we may be in? It's a it's a complicated Torah portion because particularly as I mentioned, has this darkness in it. I look forward to discussing it discussing it with you. Services tonight, not too long from now, are at six thirty p.m. and uh, then tomorrow morning eight thirty will be our service and Torah study. Uh, and I look forward to um, seeing you, not in this darkness, but but seeing you and also having a moment to 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 discuss this complex uh, set of uh, of Torah portions from last week uh, of the seven plagues and into this week, the last three. Shabbat Shalom.
and I'll see you soon.